onset experience is, is really important. Even if you're like, I know I don't want to have anything to do with that and I want to go be a development exec or I want to go, you know, work at a studio or network. I think it's imperative for anyone, um, especially while you're still a student, to see, to get exposure and observe just how things are made, right? Because there is a language to it. There is a way that it works that, you know, as you grow into your careers, um, you'll start to feel left behind is not the word, but there might be a point in your career, you know, in 10 years from now where you do have to go to set for whatever reason, maybe on behalf of your company. And it is very um, scary or like, hmm, what's the word that I've been talking to people about? It's almost like there's this, this level of um, comfortability because you're like, this is so new, right? You're like seeing these people and they're dragging all this random equipment around and people are saying things in walkies that you're like, what does that mean? Um, and there's this true language of being on set that, I think will just go a long way to have the basics down and you can learn the basics very quickly just from spending a few days um, on a set. So I just think it's imperative and, it, and it's also the other side to this industry where people don't even think about those careers. They don't think about they're an artist and that they can go grow and become a production designer. They can be an on set set decorator or dresser. They can be in props and helping to make props and the things that people touch. Right. And you start to be exposed to, again, hundreds, I mean, we had a 600 person cast and crew this season for Insecure. So it's like hundreds of job opportunities just from working on set. And you're not going to know what those jobs are and whether or not your home, your own skill sets and interests may apply to one of those until you're exposed. And so I just think it's, it's, it's just, um, it goes a long way just in terms of someone who's still trying to navigate where they fit in and all of this and knowing that um, you know there may be something on that side that you, you may take to. Um, so. I always say, especially as a student, milk your student status. I mean, you guys see how I took advantage of these internships just to get a lay of the land and kind of give me a head start. Um, but with that comes so much, right? It, it, there's internships, but there's like discounts to festivals where you can do networking. There's discounts on almost anything. You know, I, was, I actually hated that I graduated because I was like, ah, I can't get the student fees anymore. Like those were clutch, you know, you gotta pay it. It's like being an adult now and having to pay like things at whole cost, which is scary because you're still like, you know, trying to make a living. So milk your student status and know that it can get you so much farther than you think um, because people do want to help especially when you're still learning um and yeah and again set may not be for you but the only way you're going to find out is to go and, and dabble in it and and spend a day or two and say yeah that, i don't like this very much so um i just encourage everyone to explore it early on um because i think it informs so much about how the sausage is made <laughs>